Spain needed a last-minute Inigo Martinez strike to rescue a 2-2 Nations League draw with the Czech Republic, while Lionel Messi scored all five goals as Argentina beat Estonia 5-0 in a friendly. The Czechs took an early lead in the Group A2 clash with Spain after Sparta Prague forward Jakub Pesek scored from close range in the fourth minute, connecting with a pass from Jan Kushta who got in behind the visitors' defense. Spain equalized on the stroke of halftime when midfielder Gavi beat Czech goalkeeper Tomas Vaklik with a shot to the far post. Jan Kushta celebrates after scoring for Czech Republic. However, the Czechs retook the lead in the 66th minute when Kushta lobbed goalkeeper Anai Simon from just outside the area after he was sent through on. Goal alone. Spain scored in the 90th minute to break the hearts of the home fans in Prague when Martinez connected with a cross from Marco Asensio and his header just crossed the line. Kushta scores against Spain. Nations League results, fixtures, tables. Download the Sky Sports app. Get Sky Sports. Cristiano Ronaldo scored twice as Portugal swept to an emphatic 4-0 victory over Switzerland in their UEFA Nations League clash at the Estadio José Alvalade in. William Carvalho and Joao Cancelo were also on the score sheet as the hosts wasted numerous opportunities to inflict more humiliation on the visitors, who suffered their biggest defeat since losing to Germany by the same scoreline in 2008. Cristiano Ronaldo was among the goals for Portugal. Portugal have four points from their opening two Group A2 matches and are ahead of second-place Czech Republic on goal difference. Switzerland are on zero after back-to-back -back losses and are now winless in their last four encounters since they qualified for the World Cup in Qatar. Carvalho opened the scoring when he reacted quickest to the loose ball when Ronaldo's free kick was parried, before the latter netted a quick-fire double to Extendi's record tally of international goals to 117. Ronaldo should have had a hat-trick when he wasted two excellent opportunities before halftime, the first a barely believable miss from six yards, but it was left to Cancelo to score the fourth for Portugal in the second half. Ronaldo celebrates the first of his strikes. Portugal hosts Czech Republic in their next fixture on Thursday, while Switzerland entertains Spain in Geneva on the same evening. Meanwhile, Erling Haaland scored in each half to bring his international tally to 18 in 19 games as Norway beat Sweden 2-1 to top Nations League Group B4. After victories in their opening two games, the visitors took the lead when Morton Thorsby was awarded a soft penalty by referee Anthony Taylor for some innocuous contact in the box by Emil Kraft. Holland, who scored the winner against Serbia in their opening game, thumped the spot kick to the right of Robin Olsen in the 20th minute. Sweden's only attempts on target in the opening 45 minutes came from a pair of Emil Forsberg free kicks just before the break, but despite a string of decent attacks and set pieces early in the second half, they could not manage to fashion an equalizer. Holland made them pay in the 69th minute, latching on to a loose ball and surging powerfully into the box before flashing a low right foot shot across. Olsen and into the net to make it 2-0. Norway's Erling Holland celebrates after scoring. The striker missed a great chance to complete his hat-trick three minutes later and was replaced by Joshua King soon after. Anthony Alanga scored a stoppage time goal for the Swedes that proved too little, too late as Norway held on to win. The Norwegians topped the group on six points ahead of their first home game against bottom side Slovenia on Thursday, while the Swedes host second placed. Serbia, who beat the Slovenians 4-1. Slovenia's Petr Stojanovic cancelled out Aleksandr Mitrovic's first half opener, but second half goals from Sergej Milinkovic Savic, Luka Jovic and Nemanja. Radonja completed a comfortable win for the Serbs. Northern Ireland's winless run in the competition was extended to 12 matches as they were held to a frustrating 0-0 draw in Cyprus. Ian Barraclough's side, who lost 1-0 to Greece at Windsor Park last week in their Group C2 opener, sit third in the table after two matches. Greece followed up last week's opening win with another 1-0 success on the road as Anastasios Bakasetas scored the only goal in Kosovo. Georgia made it two wins from two as they won 5-2 in Bulgaria, Group C4 rivals North Macedonia registered their first win, 2-0 in Gibraltar, and Malta.
Medea winning start to their Group D2 campaign, beating San Marino 2-0. Messi grabs 5 as Argentina thrash Estonia. Argentina's Lionel Messi celebrates his fourth goal. Lionel Messi celebrated captaining Argentina to finalissima glory last Wednesday by grabbing all five goals, and becoming the fourth highest scorer in men's international football, as Argentina ended their European tour with a 5-0 thrashing of Estonia in Spain. The seven-time Ballon d'Or winner opened the scoring from the spot after eight minutes, and doubled Argentina's advantage from a tight angle moments before the it took only two minutes of the second half for him to add a third, which took him level with Hungary legend Ferenc Puskas on 84 goals for his country. He was not done there, though, and moved clear into fourth position in the all-time top goalscorer standings when playing on after several Estonia players had stopped for what looked a foul on an Argentina midfielder, before rounding goalkeeper Matvei Eigenen and slotting home. He added a fifth for only the second time in his career for club or country when he latched onto the rebound from Paolo Dybala's effort to round off a typically exceptional solo performance. What's next? World Cup holders France face a rematch of their 2018 final victory over Croatia in split on Monday as the highlight of the day's seven games, kickoff. Elsewhere, Euro 2020 semi-finalists Denmark visit Ralf Rangnick's Austria looking to build on their impressive 2-1 win over France in their Nations League.